There's a makeup trend in Korea. I don't know what it's called, but if I were to describe it, it's more like, you know, I just drank some alcohol and I'm having an allergic reaction. <laughs> kind of makeup look where they put like blush right underneath your eyes. It's overall very pinky and peachy kind of makeup. And for hairstyle, they call it the Y2K. Basically, it's like side part with a little phrase of hair sticking out. And for the hair, you either tie it up in a bun or half up with like a little bit of spikes showing on the edges like some peacock. And I thought I would recreate that look become a full-fledged Korean. And to do that, you need Korean makeup. That's right. Uh, so I bought some makeup from Yes Style, <laughs> not sponsored, obviously. I didn't buy any makeup when I was in Korea, which is <laughs> so ridiculous. Actually, that's a lie. I bought two items. I bought one like lash fixer and a uh, like eyeshadow stick of sort. And then that was it. So I went to uh, Yes Style and ordered a bunch of makeup products. Let's. Good unboxing, shall we? Oh, I mean, they did bubble wrap it, so I feel like it's not broken. First up, we have the cushion foundation from Rome and it's very lightweight and it smells really nice, but over time it clings to dry skin and clumps up around my oily parts, so not my fave, but it's all right. And then we have the True Color School bronzer. This one, as you can see, there's like no pigmentation on this, but I think that's the point of this bronzer to be very subtle and to make sure you don't have like a brown streak on your cheeks. And then the color correcting cream from Same. It's very creamy and little goes a long way, but I overused it in this video. Uh, it blends out really well. I would probably repurchase this one. And then the blush is from Romand. This one is in strawberry milk, and then the other one is in pear chip. They're both very light and very subtle in color, so if you're wanting that natural blush look, I'd recommend that. And then the lip glosses, it's very moisturizing and juicy and not sticky on the lips, but if you were to get hair stuck on your lips, it's going to be sticky. Same for this one as well, the glassing balm. Uh, yeah. The palettes. I have mixed feelings for this one because the matte ones are pretty nice. It blends out really well. It feels soft and creamy, but then the glittery ones, they feel too gritty for my taste, so yeah. And then we have the highlighter from Para Para. This one, uh, not much to say about it. It's a highlighter. It does its job, and that's it. First things first, let's color correct. I believe this is for redness and the other two, I don't know. I'll take a little bit of green. Do you smooth out concealers with a brush or with a sponge? How's it look? Does it look any different? I feel different. We're gonna go in with the compact cushion. This one is in shade Natural 21. Love the packaging, it looks so cute. Blue, I wanna lick it. It's like candy. All right, and then I just go straight on. It smells like flowers. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like my face has become very white. Maybe this was the wrong shade. Oh my god, I look so white. I look like that Japanese kid like from the horror movies. Kin Toki or whatever, I don't know, that Japanese horror movie kid. I'll do my brows first. I didn't buy anything for a brow, so I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. Uh, brow pencil thing. These days I just don't put that much effort into my eyebrows. Well, maybe I should now because I'm gonna put on a full face makeup, but I just kind of like do that. Just like kind of color everything in. And then I just go in with the brush and just kind of soften everything out. Oh my God, why does it look so thick? <laughs> Fix my eyebrows with e.l.f. brow fixer. Alrighty, brows are done. These are the shades I got. This is the palette Rose Garden. It's very pinky, which is what I was going for. I'm gonna take this lightest shade and just put that all over the lid. This middle shade to kind of give more of a pinky tone. I don't know, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. Aren't these two the same shade, like this one and this one? Or is this one lighter, I mean darker? a little darker so I'll take this darker shade and focus that on the edges. It's 
pink shimmer. Should I switch brushes? I end up using the same brush for all my... They're very similar shades. Wow, look at that sh shine. Take the lightest color again, just blend the whole shadow out to my lids. Because the thing with like mono lids, I feel like if you don't blend it out properly, it just looks like you have a bruise on your eye, which is how I look most of the time. So I'm gonna try my best to kind of make it look somewhat natural if I can. Flat brush and I'm going to darken my edges with this color. You really can't tell. I, just, <laughs> I feel like there's nothing on my eyes. Damn. A little bit of a darker one and just go in close to my lash line. And then we're gonna go in with a this color. Yeah. And then we're just gonna underline here. Cause we gotta look like we were having an allergic reaction. So my eyes gotta look pink. <laughs> Dude, I'm like starting to look like that Japanese kid. Oh my god. Try to blend it out a little better because I think the other shade didn't do much for me. This light shimmer, I'm just gonna put that on the corner of my eye to make that pop. You know what I mean? It looks very different from what I envisioned, but we're just gonna keep pushing through. I'm gonna go in with my lash curler. Now I put on the lash fixer at least to kind of keep my lashes lifted. Cause it actually helps. Like this is the one I bought from Korea. Like this was the only thing that I was like, oh my God, I really need this. So I will use this every day. When I go back to Korea, I'm gonna buy like two tubes of this because I love it so much. What next? We're gonna go in with the bronzer. I don't really have a brush for bronzing, but I'll use this big fluffy brush that, I don't know if it's clean. <laughs> I don't know when I wash this, but we'll use it. Um, and I'll just put some here. I used to do bronzing, but at one point I stopped doing it because I couldn't tell the difference. And I could see like a streak of like brown on my face. So I was like, I'm clearly doing it wrong. So I just stopped it. But I've seen a lot of like makeup artists use this, um, I mean, Korean makeup artists using this Too Cool For School bronzer. So I figured why not? buy it and give it a try. I mean, I think it made a difference. I'm going to do that because I've seen a lot of people doing this. Oh my God, what's this on my face? I want to try out this pear chip because people have been raving about it. So that's what I'm going to do. This brush is 100% dirty, but I just got to do what I got to do. Just put it right underneath the eyes. Wow, wow, pigment pretty good. Uh, but it does make me look like I just got punched in the face. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this But the color is very subtle um, Looks pretty natural. I feel Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. That's why it looks weird on me, but I'm going in with the What was this called again? Putting it a little bit around the eyes on the cheeks Yeah, it looks like, I, like I'm having like Hives breaking out or something. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It looks even worse than like in real life. Highlighter. Let's finish off with that. Came with this brush. It's like a thin flat brush. And I'm just gonna. I can't really see anything. Oh, oh, I see it. I see it. I guess that's it. All right, glassing color and deepen more. I think I'm gonna, this is a lip tint of sorts, so I'll get this a try first. Hmm, I like the color. I think it looks pretty good on my skin tone. It's not too pink. Then I think I'm gonna just go over with the Kaya fig. Mm. I think the shade is a bit off because they're both very, dark and I need a pinky shade. I did buy a lip tint from Korea. This one is in custard mauve so I think I'm gonna use this one instead. I'll be right back. Mm. This all uh, custard mauve is more 
pinky. This is just a lip tint, so I'm just gonna go over with Refi um, lip tinted lip gloss in blush. It's very sheer. I don't know, man. I I tried. Makeup done. Let's go to the bathroom to do my hair. Welcome to my bathroom. I think the hair will be a little bit easier. Okay, so you gotta do a mid uh, side part because side part is cool again. So um, I guess like around here. Just gonna take the part straight up from my eyebrows. Part is this a good side part? Need straightener. I'm gonna go with a full hair. Oh my god, excuse me, armpit. Did I shave? <laughs> Straighten these guys out and then just paint some flyaway hairs. I think that's all I need to do. Leave this much or this much to the front. I'm gonna tie everything up. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, that works. <laughs> <laughs> I think I gotta use some hairspray. Okay. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god, I got a peacock and we're done. I got the hair, the makeup, and I'll show you my final outfit and I will be fully Korean. I feel like Koreans really like layering things. Like I see a lot of people wearing cardigans over a t-shirt or tank tops and stuff like that. So that's why I went with this cardigan, the only cardigan I have. And then um, tank top and high-waisted pants with ballerina shoes. Um, bought these in Korea too. So felt like it was fitting. I feel like a lot of Korean girls wear dainty um, silver jewelry, I find. I don't know, maybe it's because I went during summertime, so that's why people are wearing a lot of silver, but I put on some earrings, necklace, and yeah. It doesn't look that bad in the camera, but if you were to see me outside in sunlight, you would see that like I look like I got beat up by someone. Okay, so I attempted this again because I felt like last time I did a very poor job with the hairstyle especially because I felt like I didn't uh, take out that much hair and it makes it look like that I haven't washed my hair for several days which is true <laughs> but I feel like that hairstyle is like it's supposed to make you look like you have greasy hair so I'm fully embracing that for style I think this is pretty Korean as it gets I mean <laughs> to really complete it you need a scarf like a thin scarf because uh, that's a trend in Korea when I was there, but I don't have a thin scarf and this is my bathrobe <laughs> It's my bathrobe like waist cinching bathrobe band. Oh, if I were to put that on um, That would be my look. Do I feel stupid? 100% for a hairstyle It really works well if you haven't washed your hair for some time uh, Then this hairstyle will be very easy for you to achieve uh, But the peaks, I don't know you really got to have some hair gel, I guess. I feel like that could help it stand up a little bit better, but this is the best I got. And for makeup, just put a lot of blush and like pink eyeshadow on your eyes and that's basically it. I feel like that makeup style isn't that hard for you to like achieve, so yeah. This is the final look. Anyways, that's that. Goodbye.